2010 was an exciting year for MAN. Besides their double-digit growth post-recession, they hosted a very successful IAA automotive fair in Germany. One of the main attractions being the Concept S. We believe that for the future, efficiency and environmental protection are key concerns for our customers and for society, of course. And we feel that we as a manufacturer need to live up for that. And the Concept S study, I think, very well manifests that um, a reduction in fuel consumption by better aerodynamics, and you can save up to 30%, 25% uh, here, make a great difference to environment, because you don't need to burn the fuel, but also to the cost for the operator. The revolutionary truck is designed to have a slim front, flared wheel arches and curved cab lines. A truck with the air resistance of a car. But the cab will need to draw a longer trailer to reach maximum efficiency, which is against legislation in most countries. Something less of a concept and more within our reach is MAN's hybrid bus. Well, basically you've got a conventional engine as well, but at the same time you've got an electrical uh, propulsion as well. And uh, while the energy of the bus when slowing down can be used to refill the batteries and the capacitors. Um, that energy then can be used for acceleration later as well. And during that time you have no emission while it runs on battery. Yeah? So no pollution for the people, for the, for the uh, guests who use that bus. And of course you save again fuel, 30%. The buses are not yet operating in Africa, but Gaia says we can be sure to see them on our road soon. And we have some of those buses in regular operation now. They work very well and they have fuel savings of up to 30% in inner city operations. MAN plans to expand further into other southern and northern African countries. Africa for us is a growth market. Southern Africa, but also other parts in Africa. Um, there's growth in population, there's a lot of natural resources, there's economic growth all over the continent. So we want to be part of it, we want to support that. And um, we find that the the key issues to be successful in Africa are suitable products and of course a service on the ground. But they're keeping an eye on the recent civil unrest in North Africa. Gaia says they have had a minor decline in orders, but that hasn't stopped them from planning ahead. We, we are thinking of introducing uh, a new brand um, which comes from China. Worldwide we want to introduce it and maybe also for South Africa, but not this year, not next year, maybe the year after.